I say thanks and I should just say thanks, bye bye, I fly back to Palermo. Because I, I am here just to say thanks. Just to say thanks and to try to explain why I think it is necessary for me to say thanks. But uh, what I need is just to let you know the vision that gives just the proof how mag magic was the meeting between Manifest and Palermo. The cities in the planetary garden. The cities in planetary garden means that uh, my opinion is the development comes from mobility. The history of humanity depends from the mobility. From the will to the web. From the will to the web. The development of, of the humanity depends from mobility. The second, the, the economy is globali globalized. The life is globalized. The states are losing role. And the big agglomeration, the urban agglomeration, are taking the place of the states. Because the only place where it's possible to have a, a contact point between vision and daily life is the city. If you go in the state, you don't feel this harmony between the vision and the daily life. And this is the reason for which, uh, with some Dutch mayors too, we organized the Global Parliament of Mayors. The, the mayor of uh, Rotterdam, of Amsterdam, of Den Haag. We organized the, the Global uh, Parliament of Mayors, of course, including the mayor of Stockholm, the mayor of Stavanger, of Oslo, of Atlanta, of Denver, Minneapolis, Abidjan, Rambassan, Antalya, Palermo, Barcelona. We think that it's necessary to send the message that the future of the humanity uh, needs to start or to restart from the local dimension of the life. So, starting from this idea, planetary garden is a, a fantastic idea. Planetary garden is the the title of Manifesto 12, we can say Planetary Garden, the title. And the Planetary Garden is connected with a, a painting. You probably have seen the painting of uh, Francesco Loiacono. Francesco Loiacono is a well-known, well-known in Italy, a painter that in 1875 just he described the, the landscape of Palermo. And in the landscape of Palermo, in this painting, no plant is autochthon. In Palermo, in Sicily, we have no autochthon plant. But we are high biodifferent. Our biodiversity does not come from the birth, remember the blood, does not come from the birth, but comes from a choice. We welcome everybody. I am so proud to live in a, a, a country, in an island, in a city, without autochthon plant. Imagine the most typical palermitan plant, the most typical palermitan plant is Fico d'India. That comes from India, it means from Mexico, of course. Because for Cristoforo Colombo, the Mexican, the Americans were Indians. But it's just the symbol of Palermo, the cactus. And I think that uh, for this reason it's really important to remember the role of Botanic Garden in Manifesto 12 in Palermo, where the plants and the human beings just look to be the same. There is just uh, a series of faces of the academic director of the Botanic Garden. 
But when you are there, you don't know if you are in front of you Mario Rossi or a, a plant. And when you go in the garden, you don't have, know if you have in front of you a plant of Mario Rossi, the director of the Botanic Garden. This confusion between human being and nature and plants is so sweet, so African, may I tell you? So African. Because we respect the nature, the landscape. We respect or we destroy. The Africans do not respect the landscape. Live together with the landscape. Live together with the plants. And we wish to live together with the plants. This just manifest, just like, like a, a, a planetary garden. The name comes from a book of a very famous French botanic, Gilles Clément. And I think that uh, in this place, reach of plants, the mayor arrives and says that the future has a name, Google. Yes. The future has a name, Google. But I say Google and I met the migrant, both. Not only Google, but even I met the Ali the migrant, or Sarah the migrant, or Luca the migrant. Just to say the future of the world is uh, mobility. Virtual mobility, Google, oh, Alibaba. <laughs> so let's respect the China too, okay. I mean, Google or Alibaba, that is just a virtual connection, and Ahmed or Luca or Sarah, this is a human connection. To live only in a world dominated by Google is a tragedy. Because uh, what is necessary, as I said before, is to connect mobility with the time. And Google has no respect for the time. Google has no respect for the time. To live only with Google is a tragedy. To live only with Luca the migrant probably doesn't give guarantee for the future. I mean, so, so we need just a combination between, between both. And uh, just to say about the time, uh, mobility is important. And uh, we say thanks to the migrants. We in Palermo say thanks to the migrants. Because the migrants are helping Palermo. I presume that it should help the world, but I speak about Palermo. It's helping Palermo to understand how old, useless are some certains. State, identity, homeland. State, I was professor of public law in the university. So I teach the, how important is the state. Archaeology. Archaeology. With respect for archaeology, of course. The state, so I've said for many years in the university, is a closed space. Try to ask to Google what is the state. A closed space? Try to ask to Ahmed the migrant what is the space, the state. A closed space? Try to ask to a 20 years old young boy or young girl what is the state. He doesn't reply. For young people, the state does not exist. The world does exist, the village does exist. What is in the middle is the enemy of the happiness. The state is the enemy of happiness. In any case, it's necessary evil, but evil. So we say thanks to the migrants, because uh, remember the house that the state cannot be across the space. It is not, doesn't matter. If somebody defends the closed space with the weapons, 
somebody else with the flowers. It's in any case a closed space. Identity, as I just said. Identity does not come from the blood of my parents. I'm sorry for you, but I was born in Sicily. My father and my mother were Sicilians. I was so called the Sicilian blood. Uh, just later, during the dinner, I will ask to some hematologue the difference between my blood and your blood. My blood, the blood of people from Pakistan, from Bangladesh. I am Sicilian because I decided to be Sicilian. Being born in Sicily, I could decide to be in five minutes Tunisian and Jewish or German and Hindu. You know? How does the world change if identity does not come from the blood? May you imagine that in the future the art will depend from the blood? Can you imagine that in the future the art can be pure, not contaminated? If you imagine that, please call Google, not the art. And I think the same for Homeland. The homeland is not the place where I was born. The homeland is the place uh, that I decide to have as homeland. Being born in Italy, I am free to decide to have Italy as homeland or another land. It is for Google, so. It is for Ahmed, so. It is so for everybody. If I decide to have Italy, my choice has a double value. Because it depends on my freedom. Is not a condemnation depending from the, from the decision of my parents. Therefore, I say that uh, there is no city. Magic moment. There is no city, no city in Europe so culturally changing in the last 40 years like Palermo. Culturally. culturally. Yes or no, somebody can say that Berlin changed. Somebody can say that Moscow changed. Somebody can say that Praga, Warsaw, Riga, Vilnius changed. But those cities changed in connection with institutional changes, with international changes. We changed without changing our constitution. We in Palermo changed in the mind. In the mind. And we have to say thank to the people who were in fight against the mafia. And uh, we have to say thank to the people like I was, that was considered atheist and communist. Nobody is perfect. I never been atheist. I'm sorry. Nobody is perfect. I never been communist. But I was considered atheist because I was against the mafia and the Catholic bishop were mafiosi. A friend of mafia boss. I'm Catholic, so I can speak against. Okay, fine. And I was considered a communist because I was against the mafia and the prime minister and the ministers who were mafiosi. And I was considered, of course, an ever a communist. I've never been atheist and I've been communist. We have to say thanks to the people who died in fighting against the mafia. But we have to say thanks, first of all, to the mafia. Yes, killed too much. Killed too much and obliged us to open the eyes, to open the mouth, to hear. Obliged us to change. It is the same dramatic positive result produced by Adolf Hitler in Germany. My, I love German, Germany, German language, my second language. My first is Sicilian in the case. My fourth public is Italian. I I love German culture, but I think that German people, after Hitler, are much better than before. Because they discovered the contradictions of the culture, the perversion of the culture. The same is happening in the Islamic world. My Muslim friends today are better than before Islamic State. Ten years ago, my Muslim friend said, you cannot say that, you don't know us, you don't know our family, our context, our tradition, just like Palermo 30 years ago. 
and they produced just so speaking the alibi to close the eyes, to close the mouth, to close, to close the ear. Now, if you, when you speak with Muslims, they speak clearly because they have understood that uh, Islamic State is the perversion of Quran, just like the Nazism is perversion of German culture, just like the mafia, the Syrian mafia is perversion of the Syrian culture. And we are today just in condition to say that manifest has given to us the possibility to let the people to be proud to be Palermitan. Because uh, we rec do not have fear for people who are different. If somebody asks to me how many migrants are in Palermo, I, the mayor, do not reply 100,000. I do not reply 100,000. I reply no one who lives in Palermo is Palermitan. I make no distinction between who was born in Palermo who lives in Palermo. Do you know what does it mean just remembering the painting of Loyacono? The painting of Loyacono. The harmony just depending from the painting of Loyacono and the crazy mayor welcoming everybody. And last year, I was re-elected for the sixth time, the first day, without ballotage, and the Salvini list, the list of the enemies of the migrants against me in Palermo one year ago got 1%. 1%. <laughs> May I imagine that at least 50% of one did not vote for me for the problems of traffic in the city, <laughs> not for policy of migration. I mean, this, Pal this Palermo is just uh, a city that has become something like uh, a positive message for the rest of the world. To welcome is possible. And uh, I think that uh, what we try to do is to explain that one day we will have a second process of Nuremberg. Yes. We will be processed for genocide. Our parents, our grandparents could say that they did not know what was happening about the, the Italian-German genocide, the Nazi-Fascist genocide. We will not be able to say that we do not know. Because we know. My life changed many times. My life changed when I met a girl that is still today my wife. Uh, uh, we met when we were 18 years old. So, uh, but we are still uh, uh, married. And uh, uh, she, Sicilian, I met in the Tate Gallery in London, never met before. And she asked to me, I'm Sicilian, she's Sicilian. I am Sicilian, and asked to you, 18 years old, like I am, what do you do against the mafia? <laughs> the role of the women in fight against the mafia, you can understand. The role of my wife in fight against the mafia. My life changed when the 6th January 1980, the president of the Sicilian region, Pier Santi Mattarella was killed by politicians of our party and by mafia boss. And near the body of Pier Santi were the professor Sergio, the brother, my colleague in the university, he teaching parliamentary law, he te me teaching constitutional law. In the same room, in the same department, in the same faculty of law. And I was the legal advisor of Pier Santi Mattarella. He was a honest man that imagined it possible to change. And he was killed by members of our party. And that killing changed my life because uh, Serge the brother, the Irma the widow, obliged me to be involved in politics. They told me, you are 30 years old. You have never met the politicians who killed the Piersanti. You occupied the faculty of law when your father was the, the, the dean. Then you went to Germany to occupy the faculty of law, where the dean was not your father. You have nothing to do with the system of mafia power. You cannot accept, you cannot accept that Pirsanti will die a second time. And I'm here. 
mission accomplished. The mafia does not govern the city of Palermo. The mafia still exists in Hamburg and in Palermo, in Paris and in Palermo, in London and in Palermo. The mafia does not govern the city of Palermo. The mafia is not the face of the mayor of Palermo. And the mayor of Palermo is not a mafia boss, is not a friend of, of mafia boss. And when the 31st January, Sergio Mattarella, 2015, was elected president of the Italian Republic, I called and said, Sergio, mission accomplished. I have to find something else to justify my involvement in politics. And I decided not to fight only against the mafia, but to fight against the residence permit. The residents permitted new slavery, new death penalty, because we obliged the people to sell their body to the criminals, because they have no residence permit. To walk with respect of, you, of, 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 of the rights, because they have no residence permit. And I think that the message coming from Palermo is a message that to change is possible. There is a Sicilian expression saying, curascio turno un po' more quadrato. I have to translate it into Italian. Chi nasce rotondo non può avere quadrato. Who was born round cannot die square. Wrong. Wrong. Who was born round can never die square. We hope uh, to decide until the last moment how to die. And uh, our legacy is uh, that we need the time to change. The day that the mayor of Palermo, the day that the Palermitan will say, we are for the eternal present. We have no respect for the past, no hope for the future. It will be the death of our hope. Uh, we think to change is possible and it's uh, contrast. The populist, I close with the populist. Who is culturally populist? Culturally populist is uh, somebody not having respect for the time. Somebody imagined it's possible to change now without contrast. The history of Palermo is alternative to the cultural populism. Uh, be, be careful. The cultural populism is not a party. It's not a political position. It's a cultural perversion. That is even inside me. Inside everybody at the risk to imagine it's possible to change. As soon without conflict, without contrast. And uh, I think that the history of Palermo can be the best antidote against, uh, against uh, the populism, the cultural populism. And so I am proud to be the mayor of the city of Palermo, where Don Pino Poisi, a priest, a Catholic priest, was born, a close friend of mine. He was killed in 1993. He was uh, a simple priest. He only asked the school for the children in the periphery of Palermo, where now Gil Clement is together with the, the girls and the boys just producing vegetable gardens, just promoting vegetable gardens. Manifesta, Gil Clement, the gardens in the place where a Catholic priest was killed because he asked a, a church for the children on the periphery of the city. And the mafia boss, the Moafia, for the Catholic priest, the simple, poor Catholic priest, uh, then for the weapons of police, then for the sentences uh, of the justice court. And they killed him. And the Pope declared him martyr and beate, even to forget too many Catholic bishops who were mafiosi. Even to send the mention that even the church is changing in Palermo. Because the church in Palermo was a, a, a piece of the system of criminal power. I say so because I'm Catholic. If I should be Hindu, I should not speak so. It should not be politically uh, correct. But I am in the same time proud because we organized in Palermo the largest gay pride in the Mediterranean area. The largest gay pride. Human rights. I am not homosexual. I am not a Catholic priest. But I think that Palermo is a symbol for respect of human rights. Thanks a lot.